Hey guys, welcome to part two. Appreciate you guys being here. Tim Talks. We're going to go ahead and get started on the, uh, the steps on what to do, what not to do on your first day of work. Uh, we've already talked about six things. Now we're going to continue with part two. Number seven is uh, do not dress inappropriately. Now this goes for both guys and girls. You can do that. Um, and so you've got to think about the atmosphere or the company culture you're in. Now you've probably heard that uh, looks are everything. That's true about a lot of things, but you got to remember that our brains start to judge you from the first time we see you. Uh, and it's just part of human nature. Uh, there is a, uh, whether they like you, whether they see you the first time, they're going to start making a judgment call. If you're trustworthy, if you have likability, uh, our brain has this four second rule. And this is something I learned a long time ago. We, we form an opinion of somebody within the first four seconds of meeting them. Uh, you could, it's been said that you can even fall in love within the first four seconds of meeting someone. Uh, I know it's true because it happened with me and my wife. We've been together for 34 years. <laughs> so it happened with me. Four seconds are important and you need to remember that four second rule because our brains use that rule and it's something you got to try to remember. So you have to do your best to make a really good first impression. Dress your best, dress for success. Remember, this is the only time you get to make a first impression. It's the first and only. So you have to do a good job on that. Start on the right foot and think about how you're always going to impress with how you look first, second, third day. But the first time you come into the office is, is, is the first impression. So you are going to have to remember to do your best on that. Number eight, don't show up too early and don't show up too late. It's a fine line that you have to draw between that. We've already come to the conclusion that showing up late shows those crazy vibes, that unorganized life, uh, not ready to tackle things. So you might come into the office too early. You might catch people unaware. You might catch people um, preparing for their day. They're not quite set up yet. And God forbid you meet, you start talking to them before they had their first cu cup of coffee, right? <laughs> so that's important to think about what will happen when you get there too early. You don't want to be their object of frustration or confusion. So don't be too early unless somebody asks you to be there specifically for something. Number nine, don't blow off your orientation. So while you might be tempted to not go to the orientation meeting, uh, because you think you don't have time for it. Maybe you already read the handbook. Maybe you know what's going on. Uh, you don't want to do that. For one thing, it's the opposite of all of the things I talked about already. Uh, you may find some of your colleagues that you can network with while you're there, and this will potentially serve you well in, as you continue with working for the company to progress. Plus, you might learn something new, so take notes. Number 10, don't ignore offers for help and don't be afraid to ask for help. Although you may be afraid to ask for help uh, from your boss or your colleagues, uh, it shows that studies have shown that many people really like to help others and are willing to help them, especially if you're in the same office or working on the same project. To get help is gonna be crucial for helping you advance in the company. Number 11, don't turn down lunch invitations or be antisocial. Everybody needs their downtime, their alone time. So it's, it's okay to say, no, I'm a little busy, but you don't wanna do the opposite and be chatting up your, your colleagues every time you, you, every second you have. So, however, consistently turning down uh, invitations for outside of work with your colleagues uh, could show that you may feel better than them. You think you're better than they are. Uh, so occasionally you need to think about how you, how you can uh, sit down and maybe go out as a group for dinner, something like that it will show that you, you want to be part of the group, you want to be part of the team. It shows uh, support. So the first day will set the tone for how things happen uh, with your colleagues. So don't ignore off the clock association because you could set up networks, you could, you could really start uh, getting uh, ties with people and it can help you network as you continue with this new company. Number 12, don't act like an enthusiastic clock watcher. Now, realistically, there are going to be days that you're working and you're going to want to go home. You're going to be anxious to get home and you're going to watch the clock and you're going to think about, oh my God, I got an hour left. I got, I got 30 minutes. Um, but don't do that on your first day 
or you're even your first week because people notice what you do. They all see you. Uh, it gives the impression that you might be bored, especially if you're yawning and you're, you're looking at the clock. It gives the wrong impression. Number 13, don't spend half a day decorating your new office space. You're probably feeling excited. You're probably enthusiastic. You probably are bringing a lot of things in to make your office space look comfortable and be your own to show off who you are. There will be plenty of downtime to decorate your office and make it look the way you want it. Excellent. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm going to talk one more time about um, your first day at work with part three. It's a, a very important point, and we'll be back with that. But appreciate you guys being here. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like and hit that bell for notifications. Check out the links below. Uh, they're very important so you can see all the things that we have uh, to offer for you. All right, my friends. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.